I've been disturbed by how, if you say anything, you just mentioned the funding for Ukraine. If you say anything at all questioning the support of a proxy war, yeah. you're then a Putinist, a shill for yeah. Putin. Um, I wonder if another uh, a byproduct that people would like to see is is to shut people up with attacks on a, you. A, it's part of that, I'm sure. But And, and lawyers are concerned about that, even though we haven't consolidated lawyers. They're telling me about talking, you know, because what the what the government is doing is making a political attack and they are organizing arising around this this uh, this legal narrative so that anything i say not anything i say now anything i've said over the last several years anything of the texts and emails and videos and things like that they that they have uh of from me uh is something that they would use to create a narrative that would support uh, this, 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 these charges, these bogus charges that they, so that's real serious. I mean, uh, and it places me in a very precarious kind of situation. Uh, the question I'm confronted with is whether I shut up and not say anything about it, not fight back, not respond to it. Uh, and cause if I do that, then, uh, it's like, uh, having been assassinated or having been imprisoned because I assassinated and imprisoned myself. Uh, so the right to be able to talk about black people and the oppression of my people has been taken away from me because I've agreed to cooperate to that level. So it's a very it's a very uh, tenuous kind of situation. And for me, the a fundamental question is all these people who proclaim a belief in First Amendment rights, belief in civil rights, uh, et cetera, and especially lawyers, we need you. Because what is happening now is what they were able to successfully do at certain times uh, in the history of the struggle in this country. It, they want to uh, deny us the right to access to the uh, a full democratic uh, process uh, here. So they would drive people on the ground and, and force people into precipitous actions like armed struggles and stuff like that. I'm telling that we need people to step forward. We need lawyers. And we don't have a lot of money. Our money goes to these programs that we created for our community. We need people to make contributions. We need people to provide legal assistance here so that we can wage this struggle. Because it ain't my struggle. It really isn't. It's for everybody who proclaims to believe or believe uh, in what uh, what this country says it's supposed to be about. And uh, it seems to me that's where a lot of the responsibility is.